Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. And I really, like, enjoyed playing the game last- Dude, what are you doing, Cat? I, I enjoyed playing the game uh, last time, so we're back playing the game again. I believe there's only two chapters to this game, though. I don't know if there's ever gonna be any more, but uh, we're on chapter two. Yes, that's what we're doing today. This is where we left off at. We're an hour and 50 minutes into the game, okay. But episode two is called Graves, so I'm using a, a controller this time to see if, if it's easier, but whatever. <clears throat> you are finished. Uh, you are finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not, I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The, um, the odds that there is something now are non-existent. Just let me check. I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So, no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for every fucking thing. God damn, I just want to stay. <laughs> like, or, like, god damn, I just want to stay at, at, at a hotel. Why do they need to know who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on, on, on them. Boo-hoo, the motel is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. What? I think I left my gun back in the room. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True. Let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Or before housekeeping, because you never know. Um, I don't even know if housekeeping uh, comes, but you, you never know. What's this? A potted plant uh, subsides amongst the cigarette butts. I see. Okay. Uh, what well, now? <laughs> Let's go talk to this random ass woman over here. Yo, random ass woman, what you doing? Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, may it interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what's, what's your problem? Uh, I'm, I was just looking. Cat, can you piss off? What, what's this way? And then you got run over by a car. Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. I see how it is. You get in and immediately sit on the sofa. How dare you? Not now. I'm trying to catch the news. There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check. Whatever. Did you find the gun yet? So, pack your things. We have to leave in the morning. Yada. It's the paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. Yeah, okay. But I doubt they're looking for us. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Only to them have a panic attack every other night. The closet is empty except for... Reclaimed your gun. Though it's not really yours anyway, but whatever. The warden's gun is yours now. Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. They're, like, if, if you broke out, they're probably... If you broke out and killed, like, four people, they're probably going to freaking, you know, keep it a secret. Considering the fact that they don't want to freak out the public with two infected people walking around. <laughs> uh, there's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Okay. Uh, what's over here? And it's our bathroom. Can I interact with anything in the bathroom? No, I cannot. Okay. Let's not go to the bathroom. Let's... Hey, get your fat ass out of the way! Ass? I think you mean my awesome fat tits, you cock suck. Okay. <laughs> um... Okay, move you cow! Whatever, wanker. Dude, this fucking game though. And that's all- How about I walk in front of it again? Alas, I cannot watch the news off your fat tits. Would you mind getting out of the way, dear sister of mine? I am not fat. How could I be after starving for so long? No, you're right. But you're also in the way. <laughs> Apologize! I'm sorry that you can't understand I'm trying to watch TV. You're so lucky I love you too much to shoot. I appreciate it. And I would appreciate you too if you move a little to the left. You're supposed to say you love me too. I do, now fuck off! 
and you pretend not to see you or your fat tits bro well that's that well let's leave you're not oh oh yeah i gotta pick this up i suppose i should throw these in the washer while i still can okay let's go to the washer and wash them you throw the laundry in the washer now let's wash those now let's just wait and walk in front of the tv again all done you're welcome great thanks i really am such a sweetheart you're so damn lucky to have me yeah yeah I cook and clean and I'm a feast to the eye or feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Bro's pissed. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Gonna choke me out again? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are, I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname, get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your rom uh, romanticism, shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving, what more do you want? Uh, what more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. You think I'm awful, huh? Damn. You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much w worse. Uh, should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. <laughs> Though you're not going to find me a, l a lot less accommodating than Andy. Now to some less important news. One of the quarantine apartments has had, has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died, yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess, but better burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend you try our Toxy Soda. We just rolled out three new and exciting flavors. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say to drink our trusty bubbly poply, which happened to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out, your, out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tur uh, tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was. Being the correct tense indeed. Can I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um, they must think we died too. And all the evidence of our escape, escapids, escapades. I was like, what? Let's say has been incinerated. I wonder about that. <laughs> I told you it'll all work out. That still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever. Things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. Well, the news uh, cat anchors or whatever suck. They suck. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Well, it seems like we are good, you know? We're pretty good. There's nothing, uh, what was I gonna, oh yeah, we're good, no. Uh, they think we died, so we can, we can just live our lives and just, Nobody would know if we, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't know. At least nobody knows we murdered tons of people. Wait, wait, Someone has entered the room. Who are you? Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Did he, I think he stole the gun. Ah! Uh, what? What was that? Hey, hey, yo. Wake up! We've got to go! Um, uh? Get up, I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. Oh, so that was the vision. Okay, let's, I don't know where. Let's just drive away. Let's just drive. Let's steal this guy's car. Are you tired of living? Inquiry, inquiries the ad. Ask your doctor if en enthusiasia is right for you. No. A soft drink ad. There are three new and exciting flavors. Limited time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. You can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on. It's just a couple of bucks. You can have that. Or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Uh, this sucks. It's limited time too. Okay. The park is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. Okay. Well, I guess we go uh, and leave through this way. But actually, 
What if I come over here? Don't. You told me <laughs> it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Fuck your soda. Up yours, Andrew. What do I even put up with you for? I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on, on this, and that's final. It's too pricey. It's too pricey. Bro, let me get the goddamn soda! Fuck you, Andrew. I want the weird soda. Uh, caramel apple or something. I don't fucking know. So, want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? And what did I do to- What did I do to deserve to- Uh, get- What? And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your, your blood circulation. Okay, mom. <laughs> Makes you impotent too, by the way. It didn't sound like I, I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? <laughs> I, I said enough. Why, you? I thought we were hiding. Oh, fuck. It's the cultist. It's probably the cultist's uh, brother or something. <laughs> this is the cultist. <laughs> it clearly says, uh, Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who, uh, you're, how, who, who, who you're expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? D don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on. Seriously, though, I guess there's more from wh where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? I, a sex and drug party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what this cultist lookalike is up to. Fine, you go. We'll come back soon. You are Andrew. Yo, we're playing as Andrew now. I'm Andrew. <laughs> oh, good. You're not going af after all. Oh, I just... Did you see which way he went? Into the alley, right? We're going down the alley. To go, uh... I don't know. Join this cultist in some weird-ass rituals and shit. Wait. Hold the door. Please. And sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. Ha 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 Curse you brats. Okay. Um... Uh, it's asking for passcode. I need a passcode? about 9-11? Nothing happens. I see how it is. Um, a cardboard recycling apparently provided devil if the graffiti on the wall is anything to go by. Oh, I couldn't have guessed. I- it's right there. It's right there. And it also makes sense because they're cultists. So why- why wouldn't this be the password? Or oh, whatever. The elevator arrives. Of course. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. Exactly, that's- I don't know- I don't know why I- Bro, bro has the same thought process as me. Uh, what? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event, Chew. Okay, so there's two, uh, is this the sex and demons party? Can I save? No, I cannot save. What button was it again? To pause? I don't remember. But, is this the demon sex party? Wh what? I hope not my wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. There's no demon sex party. Oh, well, just regular demon summoning then. I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry. I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invited... A they literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means six eyes in getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. Uh, we're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. And these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but... You decide you should get inside somehow to find out. Let's just... They're literally going to kick you out again. This way. Locked. Nope. Uh, the trash can. And whatever, I'll, I'll go back to, uh, what's-her-face. It's X to sprint. Okay, I'm speeding. All done? I was just uh, checking to see if you're dead. No one has showed up. Maybe it was a vision from some other night? 
So, if we're leaving this morning, how could that be? Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. This was the first one ever. What? Really? I have, I have nothing but nightmares. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to snooping on the cultists. I don't know how to get in, though. They told me to get lost. Uh, I need a smoke. Go have it elsewhere. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. Huh. Ha 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 ha. I see a plan right over here. Now you know where all the cultists get their extremely fashionable robes. Sadly, the shop is closed and you can't buy one right now. God damn it, bro. Only if I could have bought one before, because that would actually make my life a lot easier. Because, as you can see, there's a, uh, a cultist robe right there. There has to be some way to get it. Was I? I, I doubt they would actually, I was, because there's no way in, uh, of knowing that I would need to encounter cultists. So, uh, I probably, uh, wouldn't have been able to buy it before. But how about I come over here? Amongst the cr other crap, the vending machine offers caramelized apple and cinnamon soda. You wonder if you should buy Ashley some after all. Fine. Got caramelized apple and cinnamon soda. Time to go make a Ashley happy, because I like Ashley. Hey there, I got you something. Oh, is that- Your ha You hand her the caramelized apple and the cinnamon soda. I- I know, I disappoint myself too. I can't believe they got me with their limited time only BS. Yes, thank you, let me try right now. Ashley opens the can and takes a slip. Well, any good? You can have the rest. So it's gross too. That's just great. <laughs> it tastes like what nail polish smells like. What a waste of money. Not at all, my curiosity is sated. Chemical burn on my tongue aside, I really am mighty pleased with this random act of kindness. What do you want in return, my virginity? Hey, yo. Jesus fucking Christ! That's enough of this. If you go, if you go to a if you go to a bar and a dude buys you a drink, isn't that the logical conclusion? Which bar is this? Should go sometime. I should go sometime. Actually, that doesn't make sense. I doubt the bar browsing bitches are very virgin, virginal, virginal. How judgmental of you! She takes another sip of the soda. Oh, that's nasty. You don't have to finish it. Just throw it out. Never! It was a gift! Uh, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't go inside and uh, say, fuck you cultists. I can't really do that. So, uh, what if I go back to my room and see, do I have any, like, weird-ass robes and, and shit that I can put over myself? Oh yeah, you totally have nightmares as often as you claim. How about I interact with my bed? There's no pillow. Why don't you have a pillow? You, you keep hoping there's... There would be something useful in these papers, but there never is. Yeah, how about I just sit down and watch TV and just say, fuck you, Ashley. And, <laughs> but yeah, I can't do anything. So I guess I'll go back to that alleyway. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Seriously, what am I supposed to do? I don't get it. It says, uh, like, gives me... Huh, maybe right here. Um, bio waste, maybe you'll start eating out of here once your, your money runs out. How about I just head back up? I can't head back up. What do I care what those clowns are up to anyway? Decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got employee key. Yeah. Okay, let's be all sneaky. We are inside of uh, this room. There's a crumpled note in the trash. It reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals! How about I eat your lunch? The top layer is full of cake. Lower has some paper cups. Damn bro, they're, they're seriously having a party? On the card, a sit, plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. Oh, what's with the cakes? It's a bit late for work meetings. Oh shoot, the elevator is coming up. Oh crap, where do I hide? Can I hide in the fridge? Someone has left a note, it reads, To whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate! Uh, the office. Life. Same shit, different toilet. The drabbiest set of dra drapey you have you have ever laid your eyes on. I'm over here now. Ugh, this is going to take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. How about I just take remove paper cuts from the cart? What does it say? You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be seen. Ah, got curtain. 
put the, uh, you wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Oh, dark lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the other one? <gasps> could, could it be? The weight of my sins? No! Bro, they're ha real having a party. Okay, be cool. No one has no, no one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Well then, everyone. The ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear nothing's going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. Uh, why Ashley summon something on her first try? Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? But they suck. I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I, I brought the cards down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? Yes, please enjoy yourself. Oh, oh shit. Uh, where are your robes? Sorry. The thing is, I spilled some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> now that you got your answers, you miss Ashley. Let me talk to the cultist. Wow, someone is underdressed. He is too busy eating cake to care. You should be fine to take two pieces, right? Uh, look how many there are. How would I take some? No. These cheap ass offer milk. Uh, these cheap asses offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I've ever drank piss. Well, say something. Uh, should I converse or say nothing? I'll, I'll converse. Why not? Where'd you hear about this gathering in the first place? The occult magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. <laughs> okay. I figured it was going to be lame, but though. Uh, but thought I'd check it out, out since I, I don't live too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. S see you next time. What? Next time? I thought she didn't like it here. Uh, okay. Cool. I uh, can't do that. Let me, let me talk to this weird ass cultist that's over here far away from everyone. Hey, I'm on stage. I'm famous. Bro lifted his arms. No service right now. How about yes service right now? It says GFU. Okay, let's let's just uh well I can't go up there so I guess I'll go this way. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Ah, no! Look, man, you're you're ruining the whole vibe with that getup. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. Ooh, you know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave her away. Er, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. I, I, um, I wish I was able to get the cake. Ashley, you dead yet? It looks pretty dead. Are you done snooping on the cultists? So they're apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was... You hear a car. Oh, shit. Oh, th that's him! That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream! Yikes. He really just went in our room like that? He still doubted me? Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of we sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can't I can't live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I'm not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. S still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. Gah! You know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy though. But this is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Somehow he tracked us down, so even if we even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's not wrong, but... And why is he still in the room? We're not even in there! Well... If it was him, I'd figure we're, I figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um, hmm. He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to get back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep. 
or then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision again. And you know this how? I know because that's what I that's what I do, duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You qu you question it not why she's uh why she's thought about such things. Now enough dilly dallying, dilly dallying. <laughs> Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You you have to ask. Let's let's go. Let's go and say, ah, uh, we forgot something. All right, leave this to me. This has to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was was dumber. But hey, options, which if I may add, was also your idea. I was twelve. You should have stopped me. So should I talk? Should I talk you out of this one or no? And f shut up and follow my lead. You are Ashley. I were Ashley. Yeah. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let's return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, uh, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage, foliage shielded from sight. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam about with a uh, hitman around, would you like to save the game? Yes, let's save the game. Okay, let's go get my stuff. They should still be in the washer, right? Got wash laundry. Yep. Okay, uh, I think that's everything. And I just died. Well, congratulations. You have found the hitman and died, which is the best part. For the record, Angie doesn't fare much better. Uh, when it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops his amateur ass dead. Though, given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that, if you weren't too fucking dead to feel anything. <laughs> the hitman wins and... <laughs> ah yes, the world is much better off without you. However, uh, this is also so anticlimactic. You get a free do-over. Retry. Okay. Well, I died. Oh, oh, I already- okay, so I guess it saved that. But let, let's leave. Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and- and- and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things ready. I already did. Now we're gonna get tailed by the hitman while we walk through the park. And I don't know how we're en gonna end up killing him, but that's what we're gonna do. Let's just take a- uh, is- is he coming after us or not? I don't know, I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him Ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes! Let's hide in a bush. This right here? No, hide back here. Right here? Found a used con- Okay. You choose not to take it with you. Why did I choose not to take it with me? I should have taken it with me. But well, whatever, it's weird. <laughs> but, uh, where do we go? Guess, uh, continue. We hide right here? Where do we hide? Where can we hide? Maybe right here? We hide right here? We hide over here? Right here. Uh, here, this tree will hide us nicely. Oh, what are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Oh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he, he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note, not it. You're making me do it again? Dude only has a knife. You've got this. I hear footsteps, I think. She wait. Never fired her gun. Crap. I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Crap. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he on to us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to. Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. Ooh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. Tee hee hee. Off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Ashley, Ashley, seriously, I don't know how the, how this thing's, how this thing works. No peeking. Damn, bro. Now we're playing as Andrew. You're Andrew. How do I shoot him? Time has come to play and seek with a killer and Ashley. Okay. Uh, let's... 
right here there are some bugs in the bush but not much else right here dude oh god it's just you what are you doing you absolute Shh. you don't find me keep looking do you want to die what if he sneaks up on you or to leave nothing nothing okay how about something nothing there nothing here but a bunch of branches that have been bent an attempt to uh, attempt or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs so close they were all so close but couldn't take or but couldn't quite stick the landing right 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 here nothing okay how about nothing at all where is he what over here it looks like someone has gone through the bushes here so we definitely came through here so now we go this way right here an abandoned shopping cart very classy right here nothing here where would he be i can't go behind the tree um he must be somewhere over here right it's kind of freaking me out you know where is he he clearly went through the back over there because of the broken branches and shit can't interact with anything else not letting me oh there he is uh shoot it, it, is he dead nice work as she reclaims her gun dude you empty the whole thing i panicked this thing is useless now well i mean no one knows it's empty i guess so do these sell bullets to just anyone or do you need a license or something i have no idea sorry ashley Although, I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him! Are we still pl playing the finger pointing, ga pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone else sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? You're running off out of the blue! What? You, you needed a, what, or what? You needed an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun. I would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh? Genius? Well, he wasn't. Ugh. Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Uh, clue me in the next time, uh, or clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas. So that I can tell you off. Haha. <laughs> okay, now we're back to Ashley Hill. We gotta check if my, if my, if I'm in frame. Okay, I'm just making sure that. Okay, whatever. I'm Ashley now. I'm Ashley again. Fuck yeah. Uh, now, now let's search him. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. Cl he's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got, got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Ugh, motherfucker, what for? A driver's license. Well, good thing it, it's me manhandling this corpse then. Okay. So, Ashley doesn't have her fingerprints in the record, but now we have Bro's car. So, let's jack his car. Right. Now we're in the car. Alright, let's. See if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. We've already touched a door and, and the handle. The wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? But there's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine. What? Consider this a receipt for your cleaning service. We've ex we're extremely grateful that you uh, accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your service that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. Uh, if, if anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company, Happy Washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Oh shit, I didn't mean to leave. Now what? Uh, stop leaving. Take the car and go? Vroom vroom! So where to? Could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. For fuck's sake! Does that- uh, Or does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? 
we're never going to take to we're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again remember did i say squad about talking to her let's go rob the bitch blind and leave what money do you think she has exactly i'm sure she got something i thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma oh yeah but she can't sell those she can't but i sure can oh no we still can't go over there why not We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've, uh, looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer, is is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're, you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire too? If anything, it seems they assume that- Or assume that guy took care of us. And that's that. But the thing- the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. We'll be quick. Get get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You, you just said we can't talk uh, we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Or tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. <sighs> I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okay. Feet on the door, or feet on the door, what the f Feet on the floor. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt, put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Dude, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we get caught in, the, in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. Yeah, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I... Yeah, it is. This, you get it? Or you get so mad, it's just funny. I don't know you, Ashley. We've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep, go you'll keep going, Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly, it's Andy and Lele, uh, and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well then, it's not funny, and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Goddamn. <laughs> well, are you going to drive or what? Just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though. When you're such a dumb ass about it. Just drive. You angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy! Drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him unless he does. So, while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. Oh shit. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time, you feel wide awake. Okay, so what's this? Um, huh? But why can't I? I can't go anywhere not letting me it's only let me walk along this path okay there you go oh uh, what now this is uh what are soul what who's there where are you and where am i is this another vision or what there's no response it seems like we're having another vision there's nothing to step on what do i do i can't go anywhere else so like what's the point i don't know what this has to do with a vision what if I shake the tree? Can, can I shake the tree? Can I just shake the tree? What if I grab some of the petals from over here? I picked up red flowers. Yep. Cool. Okay. Now let's go place the petals over here. Threw down some red flowers. Now I can walk across. What does this have to do with a vision? It makes no sense. Uh, how are we uh, doing clairvoyancy? Tar soul. What? Summoned you to... Uh, can't tune in. What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. Ah, oh, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. I go up here. 
Oh, it sends me over here. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so this thing is all... All over the place. Okay, I'm so confused. Where am I supposed to go? I go this way, and I'm over here now. Fuck! Where am I? Everything looks the same! Yep, well, I picked up the red flowers, and now I take them over there, right? Ah, shit, don't do that. Okay, now I'm down here, and I bring the red flower petals over to here. Place them down, and then go this way. Okay, now what? What is this? Well, you just avoid falling down for into an eternal void. Lucky. Okay, who are you? Uh, it's you! I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream, I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It, do it doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but can't we uh, can't do this now? What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover's spat you're having with your brother. Uh, a it carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful seeing the future? Yes. The trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. What? Out of energy? I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that's if that was it, then not yours. Tar souls. Is that like an insult or something? Or uh who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. You cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but can't say I'm all that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket become a trinket dream thing you uh, work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind... I don't know. So, uh, something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. I will be waiting. Mm, Alright. I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, Tar Soul. The entity has left. Oh, that was tiring. Okay, pick the red flowers, and let's go put the red flowers over here. Let me pick up these red flowers. Pick the red flowers, and let's go this way. Where will I go? Over here now. Okay. There's a door right there, so I guess I'll go into that door, but which... Okay, I need more red flowers. Where am I now? Oh, good thing there's red flowers right there. Let me go this way. And now I'm over here, got those red flowers, and now I'm over here. Okay, let's go down here, place the red flowers there. Great. Now, uh, now I am all set. Let's go this way, place red flowers, and which door? Door is decorated with red flowers, enter. Nah. Door is decorated with eyes, enter. Why not? I don't like that. There's no door. Damn it. I was going to save, but I didn't mean to click that. Okay, I don't like this. Whatever this is, it looks unfinished. Okay, yeah, that looks terrifying. There's eyes everywhere. I don't like that. Um, what? Oh, wait. I see. I'm supposed to turn those towards the, the weird-ass eyes. I get it now. Okay. I'm gonna just turn the weird-ass eyes uh, towards this thing right there. Okay, now I need to get up there somehow. Mm, let me go this way, and then go down here. That should be taking up there. Yep, okay. There we go. Okay, great. Now what? This thing. Tarsal. What? Well, hello again. This is not the path to your home. Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. I thought I was already in the demon world. This is the realm in between. 
entering the wrong realm unsummoned will resu result in your death. Huh? So it's fine as long as you are summoned? Why not summon me to your realm? Why summon me here in this crap land instead? Return home, Ta Soul. I'm expecting those souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then not show it to me. Return now. Ah, where am I now? This is so tiresome. And I've had it up to here with these stupid flowers. How would I just kill all the flowers? This is scary. I don't like this. Why? Why is it flashing like this? Can you not flash? Huh. Ashley! Andy, is that you? Help, get me under this shithole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something. Help me. Oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh, why? That would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that again. What time is it? 10 in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. Oh, so whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking uh, lenient with you. So anyway, this episode is titled, titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. Knock off cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> Boo! No, thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice. But I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Okay. Why on earth were we at some free parking? That's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down this slope. So let's go somewhere down the slope. How about we go get ice cream? Yes, yeah, so let's just uh, sit, ignore Mom and Dad. Freaking ice cream place not, not open. Actually, are they this way? This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she uh, talked about their new place too. What's her last name anyway? Uh, or what's her last name anyway? What do you mean, what's your last name? The nameplate on the door. Did they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at, at this point? I don't know, to throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a, just a feeling I got. But whatever. Uh, let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Bro's last name's for real Graves? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro's last name's Grave. Shitter son. <laughs> Shitter son. <laughs> Jones? Is it the first one? Grayson? Timitz? Probably gonna be the very end one. Ugly Van. What the fuck? <laughs> Here we go. D don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. Alright, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way. Way in, what, yeah. Uh, through the garage. The garage right over here. Or the backyard, I guess. That's not the garage. Come on, uh, uh they've got a garden and everything. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets, uh, and go. Okay, yep. We'll, we'll take everything. We'll take the carrots. Uh, here grow some, uh, scrumptious carrots. Here grow some, uh, uh plateable potatoes. Okay. Uh, what's this? One of the planks is loose. Why? A stick. A stick. <laughs> it's a stick. The plank is loose. I can't do anything with the plank, so... The back door is locked. You check under the flower pot. Got a key. Not. There's a fuck... There's a fuck all under the flower pot. Or, there's a fuck all under the flower pot? What? What does that mean? We have to find a key somewhere, right? Oh, what? Oh, the window's open. The window's open. We leave windows open. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Got plank of wood. Yes. Let's put the plank of wood right here. Place down the wooden plank. Let's walk up the wooden plank and enter. Alright, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well? No good. It It's open, but held in place uh, by a latch that's on, that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to, to unhook it. The stick. Damn, there's a lot of stuff back here that we can use. Pretty easy. You no, know, we just get the stick now. Get the goddamn stick. Got a stick. Now let's use the stick to uh, get in there. Let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand. I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather just you, uh, just, uh, you just open the, open a door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Now let's, uh, let's go this way. Welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? 
Thank you very much. Wrong, try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. Uh, to think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, mar mar marvelous, breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your abilities. Uh, your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now? Can't it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. Um, uh, okay, now let's see. A fireplace. They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes. This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. Uh, yeah, they they probably got some compensation money, you know? We find a letter. It reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, uh, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Her textbooks are in ashes now. <laughs> but the letter's there, so it seems they might have not been home for a while. Just because why would they keep a letter there? Or why would they still have the letter on the floor there if they haven't, if they just left right now? Because why would the letter have came right now, you know, within the neck, within the few in hours or minutes or whatever since they left? The dresser is locked. Who locks a dresser? Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. You close the closet. <laughs> the closet is full of interesting stuff you wish not to touch. Nope. 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 I wonder if it'll say anything else if I just keep interacting with it. You never know. Nope. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, you, you don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Yep, like the last bed. Uh, the bed your parents fucked on, you know? Uh, the dresser is- the dresser is locked, but there's nothing here. I mean, go this way? A kitchen. What can we rob? A coffee machine. A dish rack and a blender. Kitchen knives. There's nothing in here. A coffee machine. They have, like, nothing in their house. Maybe some- something over here? Uh, it's the phone your mother never calls you with. Yes. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here? So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like uh, there were any pictures in general in our last place either. True, but now that there are s now that there are some, why not of us too? Guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty! And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it! Bro, I don't know how- Oh, I didn't know there were stairs. <laughs> I didn't know there were stairs. Okay. We're in a basement now. With a bed. Why do they have a bed down here? Your parents have lived here for only a few months. Yet they've somehow managed to hoard all this stuff and, s and a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. Yeah. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Yep, they are. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. But what's up here? Dirty laundry. Uh, right at the top. Sit some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. Yes, an excellent quality mop. The floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. A metal box full of screwdrivers. What's this? On the table lie some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Got dresser key. Fuck okay, yeah. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Now let's head back up to the dresser that we can- Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There is no sight of, uh, any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opted in for conversation of damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be, gla will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. 
is the death certificate of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh? Huh? I didn't know he died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone has entered the house. Oh, shit. Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. It's a shame that you wa that you wasted all our bullets. We shoot anyway. Is someone there? Hi, mom. It's just us. What? Welcome home. Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprised we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home and so? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks, you should have le let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard, but what about co the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me just go wash my face. Damn, bro. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Damn, hold up. Uh, give me one second. I'll be, I'll be a right a back. You guys, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I did do something. But that's really strange now, so... <laughs> our mom is here? Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Damn, she's poor. <laughs> but, damn, bro. Meat wine looks like your parents had a night plan. Night planned. He's putting away groceries. Let's go talk to mother. Mother, I forgot mother went downstairs. Um, hey, my sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. The least you could have done was mail us some dry food or something. What for? You were taken care of. You're sp still spitting that. You're still sp us. <laughs> You're still spinning that bullshit. Shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it, y bruh. You cry about it. Fuck you, old lady. Mama's busy treating her work uniform. I see how it is. Whatever. Let's go talk to Andrew. There's not much in the fridge right now. Let's not go talk to Andrew because I cannot talk to Andrew. A purse. Yes. What can I do now? Um, what if I come over here? Can I, uh, go in the closet again? Nope. <laughs> uh, what about the bathroom? You gonna go to the bathroom? Nothing. Uh, renovations are a foot, whatever. I can go outside again. Let's come back over, over to here. No, nothing. What do I do then? What, what exactly am I supposed to do? Can I... Pot is empty. Oh yeah, you brew some coffee. I guess. I'm gonna make coffee. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated after that. They give us the go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh? Interesting. On the news they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. You sure look like it. So, so, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Ha, huh, I wish. This house needs some serious repairs. The area is so worth it, don't you think? Perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no. They actually do that stuff here. But you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey! What the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it. Because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon. So I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it, I'll make something. Full well, that was her way of telling you to get lost. Oh boy, I can't wait to hear how dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, 
why don't you go rest? I'll fix something. Ah, I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. <laughs> now we're playing as Andrew, okay? Somehow, your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something, you smooth talker. Let's go make some food. A sink. You don't know what to make yet. Inside the fridge is some meat. You could probably make something out of that if you knew what. Mm, you have nothing to cut. Kitchen knives. There's meat in the fridge. What can I make? Oh, over here. You browse the cookbook for some simple recipes. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with an odd urge to pull this brody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind, where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. By the way, you let her ho hover over you for now. Found five simple soup recipes. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. Okay, got some meat, and then we can go outside to get everything else. Okay. So the so potatoes. How nice that our friend that, that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languished in our apartment. Really makes our one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please. Just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? You get the feeling she has something more to say. You can tell whether it is, what? You can tell whether it is, it's going to start an argument. Uh, okay. So you leave it be for now. Got carrots, got potatoes, and got onions. Okay, now let's go make this soup. Go make that soup. Okay. <laughs> oh god, uh, you don't have all the ingredients perfect. What? What were they? Eat carrots, potatoes, and onions. I have all the ingredients. Chop everything. Oh, I have to chop everything up. Okay. <laughs> I have to chop everything up here. Uh, you cut the meat, uh, you cut the potatoes, you cut the onions, you cut the carrots. Okay. Just curious, did you use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes. Why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You still had the cleaver? <laughs> okay. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. There's like knives right there. You don't have to use the cultist cleaver. Alright, uh, you can't take this anymore. Actually, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? You're going to be such a little- You're going to be such a bitch about it. I really want you to um, come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. Uh no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge my clairvoyance dreamy thingy. Do you really- or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Oh, uh, let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. That was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Did you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. <laughs> Let's clean up. Pick the dishes and wash dishes. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable uh, it is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Oh, well, surely not their two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perish in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And, sudden and suddenly, we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no co connection to us. What makes you, uh, and what makes you so sure uh, this bitch won't, what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. Now, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be, uh, there'd be no reason for it to do anything. 
She's, uh, she's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it! I knew it, I knew it! But what? You're, you're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happily, happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nicely. You know I'm the only... What? You know I'm only keeping us up, up... Keeping appearances, right? Or, you know I'm only keeping... Whatever. And so, and so is she. Felt, felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Listen, I choose you. Didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off of that. That's not what I said. If you'd keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just PG. I've been a be I've been behaving. No, you haven't. That's not what I'm talking about anyway. I, ag I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Or it's just us now. Funny because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That that is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not because I'm because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. No, you're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you get. It's... N now... It isn't the time for this anyway. Well, let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway with the trinket charged, uh, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I, I, I get that, but if we leave qu quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh, there isn't enough space in this house, despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in, in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on leaving here. Thanks for the invitation, though. Or living here, or whatever. It's not your... It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Or indefinitely. I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. Why? Why is that? Huh? It's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just- It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now, <laughs> and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Sleep now or get out at once! <laughs> you pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. God damn. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of, of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Ah, okay, I can't. Oh, what the fuck? What was that? Uh, why is it believe this freezer isn't full of human meat? There's a severed la- there's a severe lack of human meat in this freezer. Damn, okay. There's a severe lack of human meat in that freezer, I guess. But let's go to this freezer. Oh shit. Greetings, neighbor! Uh, hot thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar. Behold, as thou may witness, not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. Tis time for you to compartmentalize. The fuck? What's... Uh... Okay. What am I doing? Well, I guess I'm just, just gonna bleed out all over the place. Got a limb. Yep, got a limb. I got another limb. Let's get this frying pan. 
Uh, the, the pan is empty. All oh, right, Ashley already cooked one. Candle holder is empty. Who's that? Who's that over there? Why are they just over there? Uh, I can't go that way. I can go this way with missing candles. There has to be a way to get over there. Oh, right here. Okay. Uh, like that. There you go. What are you doing here? I... Actually, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Damn, bro. Okay. Stop following me, you little shit! <laughs> bro, what the... Okay. Let's just go to the door. The door has no handle, nor will it budge. Okay, so there has to be a way I can go, right? Let me see. Can I go anywhere here? Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great. Hand them over. Haha, <laughs> no way. Ask nicely. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake and won't need the candles anymore. It's too price it's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool today. There's nothing to light. Damn, I should have killed her. Or oh, whatever. Oh, let me get that. Lay Lele places a candle in the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. Um, okay. We kinda need more candles than that. You use your lighter to light the candle. Oh, what's that? Can I go that way? Yep, I can. Okay. Uh how do I get over there though? I can't, can't go anywhere. I, I can't even get over the rope. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, okay, where do I go? Right here, right here, up. But I can't, can't go anywhere else. I can't, can't go anywhere. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go, now I'm in. Uh, this is, uh, white noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. Yeah, okay. There's a weird-ass ghost kid right there, and I don't like it. I don't like that weird-ass ghost kid right there, so... Let's just ignore the ghost kid, um, and find a way over there. There we go. Julia? You've been quiet all day, what's up? N no it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately, but I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much buildup, you're- you kind of have to now. Uh, w well, uh, please don't get mad. When I have- when have I ever once ever raised my voice with her? You can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Or it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if just for her uh, own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too. I think it'd be uh, nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, always cut, uh, cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, though. No, uh, or I can't make her learn it. No. no, but you could. Like, you know, not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something, I suppose. Sorry, maybe I should have never said that. Or I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, it's fine. I guess so. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. She might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. She ha she, ha she is how she is. Or I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? But she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, it's nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her, or happening to you. So, I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Or would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no. You, you pull on it again. <laughs> uh, um, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. <laughs> I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I, I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. She's not going to take you uh, back. Uh, she's not going. She's not going to take you back, uh, you know. When did I ask you? Should have killed you when I had the chance. Holy shit. Someone stares inside the roof with an unblinking gaze. That's probably uh, Ashley. A collection of photos and notes from your girlfriend. Your ex-girlfriend used to cherish your, I'm pretty sure, blah, blah. What's in the closet? What do you hope to find in there, pervert? Nothing. That's your ex-lover's dormitory. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's uh, head over here and see. There's nothing to be lit. Well, I can't light the candles. 
there. So can I open the door now? Can I open the door? Still nothing. What do I do now? So right here, uh, you have one, two, seven new voicemails. Oh, hell no. You are not listening to all that. Okay. You'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you, bothers you. There's trash full of letters, mostly death threats. Damn, bro. Damn, I see how it is. Okay. Where do I go? I can't go that way to like talk to the weird ass ghost creature right there. And where do I get a doorknob from? Uh, I can't take this candle from here. How about I try and take this candle from over here? Let me see. Uh, take the candle? I can't. Okay. I, I quite literally can't do anything. Wait, what? So what do you want to uh, what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave the spot. I can't draw out my coloring pencils. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. So let's go get the pencils, which are right there. They're just right there. Got some coloring pencils. Let's just run all the way back and give them to Lele because Lele's a little bitch. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully as if it were me. I'm lighting, I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. Wahaha, boo, you suck. Got a candle. Now we have a candle, finally. Uh, that we can put over here. The candle. Place and lit the candle. What the fuck is that? Hold up. How, how long have I been recording? It's an hour and 30 minutes. So after this dream sequence, I'll probably end the video. Well, yeah, let's see. This one you had to get before he got you. Well, it worries you someone wanted, uh, wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Me. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind, there's one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't even been a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire um, burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can't this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. Now what? The closet? Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm, I'm missing that limb you cooked. Or I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. Is it in your stomach? Uh, is it? It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are, are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. Oh, uh, what do you need it? Uh, what do you need it for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Huh. Huh. So are you coming out of there? You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Suit yourself. Now what? Uh, that- this dead guy? Got a severed limb. Well, me- uh, met young graves? Let's go this way. Uh, over to that weird pot thingy over there. If you would actually let me. How do I get over there? There we go. This way, this way, and bam. Got a limb. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I'd think the... Methinks the inner heart and um, innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook bur but to burn, I now know it not. Uh, v verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. What are you talking about, bro? He possesseth the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. Perchance tis of little consequence to thee. Look, I didn't ask, okay? Now take the goddamn limb. Let's come over here. Place all several limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Oh shit. Oh no. Now what? Thy first shall forever linger in thy memory. Oh how joyish tis be the in initial sp uh, spectacle of thy mutilation and cannibalism, young graves. Fuck. <laughs> What's going on? This box. Rise and shine, uh, Nina. Ha ha ha. 
Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There's no answer. Huh? Guess she's still sleeping. Oh, fuck. Lately, kick the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead! Come on, don't. You open the crate. Oh, oops. Wait, what? Why is she dead? How did... What? That can't be right. What is going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Sh forget this. Let's just leave her here. S Sandy took the stick off. It looks like she went she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails a uh, split if she if she was there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. No sh I'll start r rotting. And, uh, and someone will come looking and find her. Her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Fuck. Let's just hide it then. If no one knows, then it's not a problem. Gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too, it's fine if it's the both of us. No, you fucking idiot, you don't get it, do you? Guys and girls, don't go to the same prison, they're going to take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, uh, then since you're not so smart. Okay, let's just, uh, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. There's a park right outside. Yeah, there is probably fine. But first, we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see, see us carry her there. What? Uh, oh, the tarp right over here. There's, there's a tarp like right over here. This one is too big and heavy. Well, I, I guess not that one. Oh, this will have to do. Got tarp. Okay. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. I knew she was going to die, but still. <laughs> I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured these wooden planks would work. I, I could have sworn I saw a shovel earlier. Kind of shovel -y. Just watch for slip splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy, or good, easy to dig spot. Got wooden plank. Um, right here. But maybe here? There doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, this is way harder than it would, uh, than, um, than I thought it would be. It's this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits here just fine. I, I, okay, fine. Okay. Let's carry the dead body. Hey, what do you want to eat today? What's for dinner tonight? Uh, I was going to fry some fish sticks. Nice. You and Lily push the body into its grave. Now let's put the, the dirt back. She's probably still here. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Looks fine to me. No, there can't be this. Or this obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and such? Okay. Got foli foliage. Some more foliage is needed. Got some foliage. I got some foliage. That's uh, Some more foliage is needed. Okay. Uh, some more foliage over here. We got some foliage. Okay, got some foliage. Uh, oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. The rock. Place the stone down. Nice. Uh, makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying. Huh. What is it now? She's hidden? Uh, what if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. Say one thing and, and do another. Promise me that this time you'll honestly, you'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll even... I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. There, it'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. 
If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I am your best friend from now on. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're, you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me, but that's fine because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me! And I know. But that doesn't matter anymore because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? Be my friend or else. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Huh, really? I can't seem to eat anything any, uh, lately. Damn. Um, why did they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And, and did you say anything? Nope, I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was gonna come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want- I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was vi uh, visiting her family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than- than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Ah, wait. I see how it is. You're still pinning for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. She's dead, yet you're still all- you're still all about her, aren't you? It is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to go get a knife. Where does it look like I'm going? Let's go get a knife. You pick the knife off the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. Okay. We got a knife. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a bloody oath with you. But in return... Will have to promise me something too. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you. Com I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes. Ha! <laughs> You're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break? A if you break the promise, I won't. If you won't, I'm not buying that. Lele. You are a miserable, loathsome um, being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy spot, a sore spot, just for you. Make of that what you will. I'll take it, but sheesh. Gently, you asshole! Does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. What the fuck? And thus, she forever keeps her mouth shut only as long as you keep your eyes closed let no hussy steal your gaze it's just us now i said i'd be around i never said there wouldn't be others ah uh, wait no i want a do-over too late is the promise andy that's not fair don't you like that I then don't you like that i'll make you a priority just not kill me it's not enough why can't you just kill our parents what hold on that's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake. Good morning. Or night. It's still nighttime. Do you want, you little creep, to offer mom and dad to the demon? Right now? Right now, while they're asleep. You'll set the ritual up and do it. 
I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you have a point that mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got out, out of our parent apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because, at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of via women would have uh, gobbled you up already. Chomp. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb. I should. Fuck. Andrew, are you still awake? Yeah. Why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you without... Ashley, it's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's all, all right. I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. Oh, for the love of God, this had better not be what it looks like. Uh, um, whatever. How does this look to you? Where did you get- Oh, uh, what's it look like now, Mom? Ashley, come on! You know that there aren't any bullets left in that gun, but your mom sure does. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to the basement. And don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something. I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill dad. You did not uh, need to be told that. <sighs> I know where a rope is, but hold up. How do I save again? It was Y. Okay, save right there. Well, guys, I'm going to end today's video here. This video is already long enough. Um, It's almost as long as how much I recorded last time. God, it's been like three hours of playing this game. I don't know why. I don't, I don't really understand the playtime. Maybe I guess, like, because I, I looked up how long the playtime for this game is, and it said it's an hour and a half. So I don't know if they were only referring to the first chapter or not, or if that just means with by, by skipping all the dialogue, but I doubt it if you skip all the dialogue and just speedrun through the game, because that's a speedrun time right there. The speedrun time will probably be a little less than that. An hour and 37 minutes? That's what it said. I've, I've been recording for three hours, technically, including the first video. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. Um, it's a pretty goaded game, like I've been saying. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe. If you haven't seen the first one, then why are you watching this one? Go check that one out. Um, I, I don't know. Just, I'll, I'll put it somewhere. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and bye bye